Hello, I am Major General Debbie Ashenhurst, the Adjutant General. Major General Mark Bartman, Brigadier General John Harris and I are pleased to announce the rollout of our 2013 to 2017 strategic plan. In developing this new strategic plan, the Executive Board has identified three critical strategic priorities. We've made modifications to the strategy map to reflect the plan's adjusted focus and instituted new systems to track and monitor progress of the strategic plan's objectives and initiatives. This plan sets a course for the next five years that will allow us to progress toward our vision. It's an aggressive and dynamic plan and one that will only be productive if every member and every stakeholder of the organization understands the intent and is engaged in its execution. I assure you of my commitment to provide you the tools as well as the opportunity to do so. Working together, I am confident that we will achieve not just success, but excellence. The overall strategic plan is developed and executed in four phases. Of these four phases, the Strategic Planning Committee is responsible for the first three. Phase one is the plan analysis, where we review our past performance, including an honest look at our strengths and weaknesses to determine where improvements are needed. For the 2013 through 2017 strategic plan, we've identified three strategic priorities. Effective fund execution. We know the fiscal constraints are only going to tighten, and ensuring that we have methodologies in place to maximize our efficiency and effectiveness is essential. Acquiring emerging missions. Current missions are diminishing and being replaced by new ones that are even more complex than our current ones. We can and must be prepared to accept and embrace these new missions and we have to have proper planning in order to do so. Identifying force structure requirements. Our military force structure is changing, and we must prepare if we're going to be at the forefront of that change. Phase two involved strategy development, where we reviewed and updated our strategy map. The strategy map is a one-page representation of the Ohio National Guard's strategic plan. The easiest way to read and understand the strategy map is from the bottom up. Our foundation consists of our core values and purpose. Our people, our most precious resource, are the ones we depend on to get the job done. Our internal processes are those things we do and do very well. And our external stakeholders are the taxpayers. They are why we exist. As you can see, these have basically stayed the same with the addition of two new strategic objectives. Be engaged in our communities, which recognizes the third element of our three-tiered organizational mission, and ensure strong governance. This is an objective which has always been our goal, but based on the current political and fiscal environment, we recognize the need to place additional emphasis on it at this time. The top of our strategy map is crowned by our strategic themes operational readiness, enhancing capabilities, maintaining relevancy, and earning stakeholder trust. The intent is to keep these themes in mind with everything we do as a constant reminder of our focus. Our mission is unchanged. When called, we respond with ready units to execute federal, state, and community missions. Finally, our vision to be a relevant operational reserve powered by a diverse team of engaged soldiers, airmen, and civilians, and to be respected for its leadership and ability to produce and employ ready units. Simply, this is what we aspire to be, and together we will continue to work toward this endeavor. Now, as you can see from the strategy map, the scope and complexity to manage 18 strategic objectives, each with multiple initiatives, requires a significant performance management tool to ensure proper resources are applied to the proper action at the proper time. As a result, the executive board partnered with an outside performance management group called Active Strategy and acquired software that will allow us to track and monitor progress on the objectives and the initiatives at multiple levels within the organization. The executive board's vision is that the Active Strategy enterprise will become the single source of truth for all information related to strategic planning strategy execution, strategy management, performance improvement, and process management. It can be used as a primary resource 
as a source of near real-time information relative to Ohio National Guard activities or as a tool by which to track their own specific initiatives and unit level actions. Phase three of our plan involves the strategic deployment, which in part is the reason for this video. However, the ATAGs and I are just the initiators of this plan. Now it's up to you, the leadership at each successive level, to do the same and carry this important message forward to your soldiers and airmen. Phase four, strategy execution. Strategy execution is our day-to-day -day efforts to achieve the strategic objectives we have set for ourselves. It serves as a guide with measures and indicators to tell us how we're doing to accomplish our mission while meeting the needs of the taxpayers. What's important is that you, as leaders in the Ohio National Guard, turn theory into action and turn that action into results for our stakeholders, both internal and external. As this strategic plan guides the Ohio National Guard through 2013 to 2017, we understand that we operate in a dynamic environment. There will be changes to our mission, our structures, and our resources that will create a continuing need to be flexible, agile, and adaptive. The objectives and initiatives of this plan were developed to keep the Ohio National Guard at the forefront of these changes and in a position to take advantage of them. Through this plan and subsequent iterations of it, the Ohio National Guard will remain well postured for the future.